Hey guys, it's Makeup Tay and C. This is more fall looks. I'm completely obsessed with fall. Hope you guys like. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As you can see, that was the finished product. First, I start out with cleaning up under my eyebrows because I haven't gone to get them done in forever, obviously. First, I just spoolie my eyebrows. And then I go in with Anastasia Dip Brow uh, in the color Ebony. I don't really use much. I kind of just use it as a background color. And then I go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the color Ebony just to fade everything, make it look even. I conceal with Stilla. Stay All Day Concealer in the color Tan 12. I never know if I'm saying it right. People say Stilla. I say Stilla. People say Stila. I don't, I don't know. Well, I just cleaned that up with an uh, angle brush and then I went in with um, a little bit more of that same concealer with a different concealer brush. So this is the difference between the two. Then I clean them up and go back over them with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to give them, just to make sure my hairs are like going on the same direction. It's like edge control for your eyebrows. Uh, this color is some Makeup Forever eyeshadow that I don't know the name of. It got rubbed out on the bottom of it, so. Then I come on with Lorac eyeshadow in the color, I don't know how to say it, A-C-A-I. Then I go in with Kat Von D uh, on the Mi Vida Loca palette. I just kind of go back over with the smash, I'm sorry, the Makeup Forever color. Then I just put some um, adhesive on my lid and some eyelid primer to make sure that my shadow that I put on my lid doesn't run over to my um, crease. And this is Harpsichord on that Kat Von D palette. I absolutely love this color. It's so cute. It reminds me of a pumpkin. Just do a little baby wing with the NYX Super Skinny eye marker. I don't know where these lashes came from. I think I bought them at a beauty supply store. I'm literally just learning how to put on lashes, so I'm kind of proud of myself because I never wear them. And just priming, priming away. As you can see, I'm like talking to my boyfriend in the background. <laughs> Uh, this is Max Studio Tech in the color MW45. I just blend that out with a stifle brush, a large stifle brush. And then just to correct the line on my nose, I use the Orange Corrector by LA Girl Pro. And I use this BB cream by Too Faced. It's like a perfect base for my concealer, and it it's it's it serves as like a it stops the creases. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. It works great. And then this is the Sephora Bright Future concealer. And then over that, I use 
MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. I use the three different um, colors because I feel like they mix better and like the finished product is smooth and it's not it doesn't crease at all so it works well for me and then I just spray my beauty blender with Urban Decay Oil Control Setting Spray blend 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 And then for my contour, I use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Mahogany. And I make sure that those lines go up so it, my contour is very deep and you can see it a lot better that way. I just blend that out with a stipple brush. Then I use that same matte concealer uh, under my contour to make sure it pops. And I go over that again with that same stipple brush. And then I blend out um, LA Girl Pro Concealer on my chin. This is Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Loose Powder. This is like the best setting powder I've ever used. It works better than anything I've used, so I suggest everyone goes to buy it. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story before I started setting my makeup and um, putting on my foundation I had to go walk my dog and I was chasing after him and then I couldn't find him and then all my makeup started to sweat it was terrible but you would never notice but I'm just telling you guys that's a fun fact that I use this MAC mineralizing skin uh, finish in the color dark deep and just use that to bronze out my face after the powder. This is MAC Powder Blush in Film Noir. And then I set my contour with Anastasia Contour Kit in the color Medium to Tan. I feel like contouring your nose is very personal. You, like some people like their nose really thin, some people don't, some people don't even do it. I just kind of go over it lightly, go over my uh, concealer lightly on my nose with the Anastasia contour kit. This is my favorite, favorite highlight um, by Becca Cosmetics. It's gorgeous in the color Opal, I believe. Six plus of course and here's the finished look guys hope you guys like it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and let me know of any other looks you guys would want me to film Thanks for watching.